trouble keeping your spirits up? We've got some cool ideas for that work. Sure is shooting. Just watch our new video and make stress toys. A nail salon at home is always a nice idea. The girls are redoing their nails for the third time, but apparently the cuticle decides to set up a boycott today. Let's forget about sad stuff and treat ourselves with something sweet. Or let's better reduce stress with gigantic Mentos. Redhead offers me a whole set of stress-relieving candies. Print a Mentos label and attach it to an empty Pringles box. Cover the lid with pink acrylic paint. Now, let's make candies. Cover Orsby's balls with water. Let them bloat. Cut an empty plastic bottle. Pull a thick balloon on the neck of the bottle. Fill it with the Orsby's using the bottle as a funnel. Tie the balloon to make a knot when it is full of balls. And the first stress candy is ready. It's a very simple and quick way to make your mood better. You would never let this balloon out of your hands. Blow a balloon and twist it. And pull it onto a bottle with semolina carefully so that the balloon still has air inside. Turn over the bottle and move the semolina to the balloon. This pink stress baby feels very nice when you touch it. Time flies when you have it, and your stress flies away quickly, too. Pour paper glue into a container. Add acrylic paint to it. Add a bit of liquid washing product, Persil Color Gel, to the mixture, and mix it until the slime gets thick. Put the slime into the ball when it is ready, and tie a knot. The process of making this toy is as pleasant as the result. A balloon and a slime is a match made in heaven. This stress ball is a must-have for emotional people. Fill one more balloon with silicone sealant. This building supply looks really interesting inside the balloon. When you touch it, it feels really soothing, just the same as its neighbors. Put plastic bullets into the last balloon using a funnel and tie it up tightly. Say no to weapons with this stress ball, even if it's a toy weapon. Vicky gets bored with the plastic bullets quickly, but there are still so many tactile surprises in this big Mentos box. Orsby's balls or a soft slime? Choose whichever you want, just don't take the last stress reliever. Redhead's inner greed comes out into the open. She wants to be the queen of all the balloons. But Vicky is not ready for the property division. She likes this stress reliever too. But the balloon was the one who suffered the most in this quick quarrel. A new exercise to relieve stress is to pick up the Orsby's balls that have gone all over the room. I want to cover a piece of bread with chocolate spread, but there is a surprise waiting for me in the fridge. My Nutella has a big sister now. I'm so lucky! Paint a big plastic jar in brown so that it looks like Nutella. Paint the lid in white. Cover the jar with clear spray when the paint is dry. It will create a shiny effect. Print out a Nutella label and attach it on top. Mix silicate stationary glue and white glue in a container. Mix it and add brown acrylic paint. Add the liquid washing product Persil Color Gel to the mixture. Stir the mixture to get a slime consistency. Prepare two portions of slime in this way and fill the Nutella jar with it to the top. I struggle to open the Nutella Giantella jar, but there is a disappointment waiting for me inside. There is a weird mass instead of chocolate spread inside. My friend hurries up to calm me down. A gigantic slime lives inside the Nutella jar. It is great fun to play with it. You can even cover the entire table with the chocolate paste. And the most important thing is that there are no dirty traces after this Nutella. 
Redhead seems to be way too anxious. Even an anti-stress coloring book doesn't help. Well, it's dangerous to stay with such a furious person in one room. I need to calm her down right now. So colored Oresby's balls in water. Let them sit for a few hours to swell up. Put them in a big clear bubble balloon. Tie it up with a rubber band. Add a ribbon. I bring the stress ball filled with Orsby's balls to my friend before she turns the entire room into a mess. I put it into her hands carefully. A cool squishy stress reliever works magic. Redhead becomes as nice as she's always been. Relax, take it easy. Bunny is sick and tired of her life. She sits on a couch idly watching TV. Is she going to break the record in flipping through channels? Dolly doesn't approve of the idea. She rushes into the room and suggests having a lot of fun. It's time to get up from the couch. The whole world is waiting for you outdoors. Stand up, come on, move. Let's have some adventures. Bunny is still out of spirits. The air is way too fresh. Her friend is way too happy and the fruit is way too sweet. How can I make Miss Grumpy smile? We need a big smiley right now. Fill a big yellow balloon with starch. Use a funnel. Tie a knot. Add bright knitting yarn pieces. Draw a funny smiley on the balloon with a black marker. Dolly gives Bunny a new friend. This yellow baby is made to cheer you up and make you smile. Our life has been boring, right until a huge soft donut appeared in it. Work in a well-ventilated room wearing a respirator. Pour some vegetable oil in water. Add a few drops of flavoring. We use vanilla. And squeeze out clear sealant. Mix it thoroughly. Put on gloves. Add acrylic paint and shape a donut. Add another color to a small amount of the mass and shape glaze. Let it cure for 24 hours so that the oil soaks into the donut. Trim the edges. Make colored balls from the soft clay and decorate the donut imitating sprinkles. Fasten the glaze using the sealant. This donut has only advantages and no drawbacks. Firstly, you can shake it, stretch it, or squeeze it and pull it into different directions. Secondly, you definitely won't put on weight after it. Only sweet fun and zero calories. Time's up, the test is over. Miss Smith will announce the results now. We feel very nervous. Who passed the test? Who hasn't? Miss Smith is checking the answers carefully. At last, the teacher delivers the verdict. Redhead has passed the test successfully, so she gets a rainbow. Print parts of a rainbow on regular paper. Cut them out and join together using double-sided tape. Cover two similar details with clear tape and attach them along the outside edge. Cut a big sponge into pieces and put inside. Close the hole the rainbow appears over Redhead, and it means that holidays are coming. Don't worry, May. I will share my rainbow squishy with you. It will help you feel happy. And I wish you good luck in your test retake. A lunch with my friend. We are just discussing a new article, but Dolly has something more important. Maybe a president is actually calling her. She leaves me for the sake of her secret call. Time passes, and she is nowhere to be found. On the other hand, my macaroons have been served. I am going to cook a special dessert for my friend while I am waiting for her. A big macaroon with slime inside. Trace a plate on a piece of extruded polystyrene foam. Cut out the circle and trim the edge to remove the marker traces. Smooth the edges with fine sandpaper. Color the circle using a sponge and acrylic paint. This is a maxi macaroon layer. Mix shaving cream with stationary glue and add contact lens solution. Mix it thoroughly. 
Put some baking soda on your palm and shape the slime. Put the slime onto the macaroon layer and cover it with another identical layer. Finally, Dolly comes back. What a fabulous macaroon! The dessert managed to grow up while I was away. It looks delicious! And what kind of sticky filling is in it? Is it edible? Unfortunately not, but you can play with it. Dolly doesn't have fun with the slime because she's expected to try a tasty dessert. Well, the blue-eyed girl is kind. Here you are, take a piece of a real macaroon. And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new stress-relieving ideas on the Troom Troom channel.